asking something, whatever, ask him to write to read another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not just any reaction. Yes. I didn't hear what you said. If you could speak Get up. Stand up. Sorry. If you could speak to what was Marcel Duchamp's contribution or participation in Unico. Oh. Well. Um, Marcel Duchamp was a long-time friend of one of the two founders of the Oulipo, François Le Dionnet. They corresponded about chess, and they had an interest in the mathematical uh, uh, copy of chance. So they studied martingales, the way to win at the roulette, martingale. And I have a postcard sent by uh, François Le Dionnet and Marcel Duchamp to the members of the Oulipo uh, and in, the, in it they said we, we went to Monte Carlo and we tried our martingale but we didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was the, that was the, the foundation of, uh, of the link between Duchamp and, uh, and the Oulipo. Well, when the Olipo was founded, immediately Le Lyonnais and Queneau said, we have to ask other people and we must ask Marcel Duchamp. So they wrote to Duchamp and uh, Duchamp answered, very well, I want to participate. So he didn't come very often to the, to the meetings of the Olipo. I think maybe three or four times, not more. But the, the one an important contribution to the work of the Ulipo was a suggestion he made in one of the meetings. I wasn't there uh, yet. Well, it was before my time because I, I was recruited in 1966 and that was a bit before. And he said, you know, uh, what I do is poetry. I'm working only on language because what I do has no meaning without the title and the title is poetry. So I think it's a very important contribution of Duchamp to Oulipo. This is what I've, I've, I've noted. Um, I, I explained that um, when I, I wrote this book on, on, uh, on Paris, I was uh, capable of, uh, of, I wrote it walking, and I was capable to compose poems not very long, never very long, but with at least maybe 20 or 30 lines, and usually around 14 sonnets. But now that I'm much older, I cannot do that. I'm incapable of doing it. So I invented a new poetic form that is very short, that is even shorter than the short poetic form known over the world, the haiku and the tanka. Because as the Japanese have not many syllables. In fact, they use more syllables to say, to say the same thing. So you have in, uh, in French or in English, you have to be much shorter, much shorter. So my 
my poetic form is uh, as two two versions, and it's um, uh, it's one is five three five, thirteen syllables, not seventeen, and the second is five three five four six, twenty three and not thirty one, so it's much shorter. So I can I can remember those poems when I when I compose them. It's not too long. So I did, I did it. Uh, um, well, I don't say I'm going to keep them. <laughs> I see that. I see that when I'm going back home. Because I'm not home, so I did put them on my notebook. I, w I wanted to talk about them tomorrow in class, but I spoke of that today, and um, I, but usually I'm, uh, I'm not sure I'll keep them. Uh, I, usually I, I take a, some time to, to, to decide. So here's one. It's called Morning. The sun takes a long time going down. Mountains. I hate them. <laughs> That's my last point. <laughs> Thank you.